most of the problems are going to be on paper and pencil so let's look at what that looks like and the different types of cross sections and cuts we can make the first one is if we make a parallel cut to the base or we can make a up down vertical cut like straight down or what if we made a sideways cut so it's kind of like with fruit ninja the different kind of slices you can make so again we have parallel which is just left to right straight across to our base and then we have perpendicular which is just a vertical straight up and down and, and then we have a vertical a vertical diagonal and with the diagonal it just has one intersection with the base but it's at an angle unlike perpendicular where yes it intersects but it makes a perfect right angle okay so what happens with these different kinds of cuts if you're making a parallel cut to the base what I want you to look at is the base okay so kind of imagine um, if I have this triangle and I'm gonna look at it kind of like a 2d shape for a little bit if I were to cut it this way what slice is going to be there well, it depends what the bottom is. In our picture here, we have a square base. So if I were to take this and I were to slice it this way, I'm gonna have another square. So that's the way if I were to cut it parallel, it's always going to look like the base. Okay, so that's what I want you to think about anytime. Parallel, just look to the base. So again, if I were to slice it, they look exactly the same. It's just going to make the same shape. Now, they may not always be completely equivalent. Like these are actually smaller in size because it's a pyramid. If it was a straight cube, if again, I'm making it parallel to the base, so I'm cutting it here straight through is going to make a shape that looks just like the bottom it's gonna look just like the base so that's what I want you to think about when we are making parallel slices just look at the base okay so a parallel cross section I want you to see the base now what if I want a perpendicular cross section well in that case Look at it from the sides. And just try and think what kind of shape that would that make. If I were to cut it straight down, down the middle and straight through, it's going to look rectangular on both sides. So that's going to help us out. Now, what would happen, imagine I have a can. Here's a can. And what happens if I were to cut it straight down the middle? What do you think that cross section is going to look like? Well, take a look as I'm drawing it. What cross section do you see? Just take a look. You would think that because the side part, it's all, you would think maybe it's gonna be circular. Remember, I'm not cutting it parallel. Those parallel, I would agree because they would look like the bases. But because I'm cutting it up and down and straight down the side, I can actually see the rectangle. And that's gonna be the hard part, Math Marvels, as you're looking at your shapes, as you're making your cuts, try to really visualize what it's going to look like when you split something into halves. What do you think the shape is gonna look like? If it helps, you can use a cake analogy. Imagine this is a piece of cake and if you were to slice it, what would it look like? But you could also just use the points. I like to sometimes just draw it and kind of imagine. And, and when you draw it, you can see it. You can see the cross section. Okay, so can look at this one here. You can kind of just imagine here's the end and guess the other one. I can see, oh, it is gonna look like 
like a rectangle. And that really helps me out as I'm making my cross sections. But this is a type of lesson that just takes a lot of practice, honestly. And if you're still having a hard time visualizing, ask for something tactile. Ask for some like Play-Doh or kinetic sand and practice actually slicing um, and see if you can get the hang of it. And look and see what patterns you see and notice as you're making cross sections for your shapes. So this is the time to just take risks, try it out, make some guesses based on the information you see in your shape. Um, good luck, Mac Marbles. I will see you in the next lesson. Take care.